Hello. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a DHS2 integration configured on the Open Function platform. Now, Open Function is an integration platform designed for the social sector that can connect with any app. So, whether that is a mobile data collection tool you're using, like ComCare, Cobol Toolbox, a custom database, or a DHS2 system, Open Function can be configured to work with any of these applications. Now, with DHS2 specifically, when we connect with DHS2 using Open Function, we access DHS2's REST API. So any data that is accessible through the API, we can access from a DHS2 instance. So that includes data like events, tracked entity instances, data elements, as well as metadata. And so you can then configure an Open Function integration to connect DHS2 with any data collection tool, um, custom database, other data sources, or with another DHS2 system to keep those two in sync. So to start, I'm going to walk you through a demo of how we might connect two DHS2 instances. Uh, for this demo, we have set up a connection between our custom open function DHS2 instance as well as the public play DHS2 instance, which you might have interacted with at play.dhs2.org. So in this demo, we're going to walk through first a metadata integration. So how do we keep DHS2 configuration between two systems in sync? And then later I'll walk through a data integration. So to start, the first thing that we need to do is think about you know, what metadata we need to sync between two DHS2 systems. So again, in this demo, we're connecting with the play DHS2 account and our open function DHS2 instance. So what we're going to do is we've configured two jobs, one that is going to fetch metadata from an instance. So in this scenario, we're going to query the play THS2 instance to see what metadata is configured there. And then we're going to import that metadata to our custom open function DHS2 instance. And so in this case, we're going to be querying data value sets and then importing that into our custom DHS2 instance. And so once we have this two-part job set up, what we can do is then set up these jobs to run on a time basis. So for example, on a daily basis, maybe we want to integrate the two DHS2 systems. Or manually, I can go ahead and trigger the sync between the systems. And that will result in open function accessing that play DHS2 instance, fetching that metadata, and then loading those data elements into our destination DHS2 system. So let me go ahead and flip over to open function and actually show you a live demo. Now I'm logged into my open function project at openfunction.org. And you can see here that I have two of these jobs set up for the metadata integration flow. So the first one is this fetch DHS2 job. So let's go ahead and click into that. We can see that it is scheduled to run on a daily basis. So that's every 86,000 seconds. And once this job runs, it's going to access the public DHS2 play instance. And it's going to execute this job script, which is essentially building a GET request to access the DHS2 API. Um, so you can see here we are accessing the DHS2 metadata API, and we are querying for a specific set of data elements that we want to fetch from the play instance, and then we'll load it into our DHS2 open function instance. So this first job is going to run daily to fetch that DHS2 metadata, and let's, let's look into the import job. So if I click into the second part job, I can see that this job will run every time that the first job finishes. So as soon as we query the data, the metadata from the play instance, we're going to log into Open Functions DHS2 instance, and then we're going to execute this post request to post the metadata that we fetched from the first job to our second one. And this is how we're going to sync the two different systems. So if I go back to my original job where we're going to fetch the metadata, I can go ahead and manually execute it to run. So to show you the live, I'm going to go ahead and run this first job where we're going to fetch the metadata. And then I'm going to flip over to activity history. And now I can see that this first job is running to query the metadata from the play instance. And then it triggered that second job, the import metadata. 
So if I click into the run here, I can see that we successfully logged into the play instance, we queried for the specific data elements, and we got a success response from the play instance as well as those data elements returned. So then if I go to that second part of the job and take a look at that log, I can see that we were able to successfully import the metadata into the open function instance. Um, so we imported all the data elements that may have been out of sync. And so in this way, I can use the open function activity history to monitor the success of my integrations. And if there was ever an error, rather than this green checkbox, you would see a red notification. And you can also be configured to set up your open function project to actually email you notification errors. So let's say if for whatever reason the integration had issues accessing uh, the DHS2 instance, or if perhaps you know metadata wasn't found, you might receive an error notification. And then as an administrator, you can log into your open function project take a look at the error and even reprocess this job. So just as I manually went ahead and query that metadata, um, you can do this on a Tyner basis as well as a manual basis. Uh, but for a lot of organizations that are looking to keep you know, configurations or, or data in sync, they might set up these batch jobs to run on an hourly, daily, weekly basis and can also configure these multi-step jobs based off of what we call our flow triggers. So you can chain jobs, you can time jobs, as well as configure jobs to be event-based. So for example, every time a household survey comes in that matches certain criteria, you might want to automatically upload those survey results to DHS2. So that provides a quick demo of a metadata sync. Uh, now what I'm going to show you is a demo of a, a data integration between two DHS2 instances. So now that we've synced the metadata between our play and the open function DHS2 instance, what I want to do is sync data values and make sure that the data is in sync. So to do that, we've set up three other jobs that are chained. And in this job flow, we're actually cleaning data um, before we load it into our destination DHS2 instance. So the first job is going to actually fetch the data value sets from the play instance. We're then going to clean those data values. So in this demo flow, I show you how we isolate outliers. And then once we have that data cleaned, we're going to go ahead and load it into our open function DHS2 instance. Uh, so you might envision a similar flow if you're extracting data from one instance and loading into another. You might have a set of data formats or rules the data needs to apply to. And rather than do that in Excel, you can automate that with open function jobs. And similarly, once the jobs run, we can set that up to, to run on a time basis, or we can execute this manually, which I'll show you now. Um, but you can utilize the activity history and open function to monitor the success of those job runs and to actually see the data that was transformed. So you are able to view history of data before and after you make manipulation. So if we're extracting data from DHS2, you can view that data in its original state then see how open function automatically transformed or cleaned the data, and then review the results of that transformation and the data in the altered state. So let's go ahead and click back to open function and run this job manually now. So now I'm logged back into my open function project at openfunction.org. You can see these three jobs set up. So I'm going to go ahead and click into each one of these just to show what we have configured here. So first let's click into this fetch data value sets job. Um, we'll see it's next scheduled to run tomorrow afternoon, um, so it's running on a daily basis. And what this job is doing is building a Git request to access the public DHS2's play instance to fetch specific data to value sets that we've defined here. So in this job, we're building this query to fetch relevant data from the DHS2 play instance. Then if we go to the next job, the second job set is a flow job, so it finishes once that first job continues finishes executing. So as soon as we fetch that data, we're going to run this job to then access open functions DHS2 instance, where we're actually going to alter the data. So we're going to clean it. So in this scenario, we have a job set up where we're removing outliers and only loading in specific data values that fall within a specific quartile into our other DHS2 data set. 
So in this case, you know, we're, we're using custom JavaScript here to do this data cleaning. Um, you might also envision a job where you write rules to actually transform the format of the data or the structure of the data. So you might do that to, for example, aggregate values, to reformat dates, to add specific tags, codes, data labels. So really anything that you can do in JavaScript, you can work into your job. Uh, so this is just the example here where we're taking evaluating the initial count of data values, identifying outliers, and then loading in um, specific data into our, our DHS2 open function instance, and then we're in our logs, being sure we're recording you know, which outliers we're removing and how many data values will be imported. So then finally, in our third job here, we're importing those clean data value sets into DHS2. Um, so once those data values are clean, once that job finishes executing, we're logging open functions instance, and we are then posting those data value sets into our, D our DHS2 open function instance. So I'm going to go ahead and click back to that first job and go ahead and run this job flow manually rather than wait for the timer. So I'm going to click it in this first job, go ahead and manually execute this job flow, and then I'll flip over to activity history where I can watch these jobs execute. Um, so I can see right now open function is running and querying data values from my DHS2 play instance. As soon as that finishes executing, it's going to go ahead and trigger the other steps of the job flow. So that provides a quick overview of the open function platform and how we might integrate two DHS2 instances, whether that's a DHS2 to DHS2 connection, um, through metadata, um, but it also gives you a sense of how we might connect DHS2 to other applications such as ComCare, a CSV file that you need to import, other data collection tools, analytics tools. All these can be set up within hours to connect with your DHS2 instance. Now all of these connections to DHS2 can be managed in your open function project. Uh, we also have an integration with GitHub to manage version control. So if you have multiple teams writing these job scripts, making changes, uh, that can all be man managed through a GitHub repository. If you have any questions or would like to see a different demo of a DHS2 instance or would like to learn how integrations might work for your organization, go ahead and reach out to me at alexaopenfunction.org or go ahead and check out our website or our YouTube and, and social media channels for more on how Open Function supports DHS2 integrations as well as integrations with any application. Thank you for watching.